While I said I never really got into Shrek and I always sort of thought it was an overrated comedy, Shrek 2 I think is one of the greatest comedies ever made. Its attention to detail, its speed, its jokes, its puns, its visuals, its characters, its pacing, its timing, this is a comedic marvel. I could watch this movie a million times and never get tired of it. When I saw the first Shrek film, this is the movie I thought I was gonna get. It turns out I just had to wait a flick later. But you know what? It's still worth it. The story? Shrek and Fiona are now both ogres, yeah, kind of spoiler from the last film, who are now off to visit her parents in order to get their blessing. The parents are of course shocked that Fiona is now and permanently an ogre, and that, on top of that, she married an ogre. The king especially is not pleased with this, so he hires a hitman to go after him. Or a hit cat by the name of Puss in Boots, voiced by Antonio Banderas. This character is so popular and so funny he would eventually get his own movie spin-off. We also find out there's a subplot going on with an evil fairy godmother, and a prince named Prince Charming, who wants to seize control by having Fiona marry him instead of Shrek. But Shrek just wants to make his bride happy and decides to take a potion to turn him human, thinking it will not only get the blessing of her parents, but also her love in return. Okay, here's a perfect example of why I love this movie. When at their house, Shrek looks outside and sees a bunch of guards waiting. All they have to do is play these royal horns and the guy has to read his message. But instead, they do this. Enough. Reggie. Just that one little tidbit, this movie is full of great moments like that. Tons of little touches here and there. Every second is trying to throw a joke at you, and the majority of them hit bullseyes. These are well thought out and well put together. But to make it even better, the characters are really likable. I actually think the romance between Shrek and Fiona is very legitimate. I like the resolution they have at the end. I like how far he's willing to go. I like the fact that through half of the movie, he doesn't look like his normal self. That's kind of a risky move. Donkey is funny. Yeah, I actually found Eddie Murphy hilarious in this, because, oh, I don't know, they gave him funny things to say. They also continue those great ideas with the fairy tale world, like they go to Far, Far Away, which looks like Beverly Hills. There's a low-down bar where all the fairy tale villains hang out called the Poisoned Apple. Isn't that a great name? The villain is a great villain, and her plan is really pretty diabolical. The climax is one of my favorites, with a little bit of a wink to Ghostbusters and one hell of a great song number. This is one of those scenes where I was invested, excited, and laughing the whole time. I've talked about it before in the past, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just so good. If you really get angry at me for not thinking Shrek is one of the best comedies of all time, take some comfort in that I think the sequel is. It had great heart, it had great comedy, it had a great story, it had great characters, it had great animation. It's just great. Let me press the 